Can you grow potatoes in a green stalk? This is a question that many people have asked me and up until this year, I didn't know what to say because I had never tried growing potatoes in the green stalk until this season. Now they are ready to harvest, so I'll be able to see if this was a fantastic idea or not so great. Let's get to harvesting and let's see what we got. First, we're gonna harvest this top tier. Now, I actually did something with these potatoes that is definitely not recommended, and that is I planted a lot of seed potatoes in this space. Generally, with an equivalent size grow bag, I'd probably only plant maybe one or two seed potatoes, but I planted one seed potato per pocket. I did this mainly because I just wanted to test what would it be like to plant a seed potato per pocket see how it would grow. But then I was also strategic about what kind of potato that I planted. The challenge that I face growing potatoes here in the Southeast in Arkansas is that potatoes don't like hot weather. They stop producing tubers whenever the temperatures get oh 90 or above. So if you get a really hot spell, a lot of times the tuber production can be reduced. And so that makes it kind of difficult to grow potatoes in general. And that's gonna be exacerbated by container growing too because the containers are gonna get hotter quicker. So I strategically chose specific varieties that were early maturing varieties. This one I believe is dark red Norland, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually kind of impressed with all the t potatoes I'm digging out of here. But dark red Norland and the other one, which is Caribe, they are early maturing varieties. I got both of them from Wood Prairie Family Farm. Those seed potatoes have always done well for me the last couple of years that I've grown in them. And so I have high hopes that if I could get a harvest, that these would do really well. So, so far I'm getting decent amount of potatoes. They're not huge. Honestly, these aren't usually all that huge in my raised beds and ground beds, but I would say these are for sure smaller than what I get in my raised bed and my ground bed. Still, I'm amazed at the number that I'm digging out here. The best time to harvest potatoes is after the foliage completely dies back. And then I like to leave it a little bit longer so that the skin can harden and that will help with storage. That's why you really don't see much of a lush potato plant anymore. That's the totally the natural way of the potato. So don't feel like if you do this for the first time that you're losing your potato plant necessarily. If it has run its course and it's ready to harvest, that's the sign is that the foliage starts dying back. Okay, I think I got them all from that tier. And this is the amount of potatoes that I harvested from this top tier. All right, so now let's go check out the second tier and see how those potatoes did. All right, I think these are Caribe. Yeah, these are Caribe. You can see that with the purple plant. Caribe is a purple skinned potato that is more like a white, it's got a white flesh to it. I've found it to be very versatile in cooking. I'm able to use it in lots of different ways. You can see I'm kind of having to work around my jalapeno plants and I have the green stock support, which is uh, making it hard for me to get to all of this, but the support. The support is good for the jalapeno plants and anything that like cucumbers or tomatoes or anything that grows out a little bit bigger. I guess that settles it. You can grow potatoes in a green stock. This is actually more than I expected just because I do grow potatoes in my grow bag. And usually if I grow in a grow bag, I only get enough potatoes for one or two servings. So to have all of this from these two tiers, I'm very impressed. What I could probably do next year instead though, I don't think that I'll need to plant six seed potatoes in six pockets. I think I could probably do every other pocket and get the same amount of results and not have to use as many seed potatoes. So next year, I think that I'll do that. I do think it worked well using the short season varieties of Caribe. That worked out really well. 
and I'm very satisfied with this way that I've learned I can grow potatoes without having to do all of the work of an in-ground garden. Now these varieties are just a couple of my favorite potato varieties. I also plant them in my in-ground garden and my raised beds and for a look at the varieties that I enjoy planting the most, check out this video and you can learn more about planting certified organic, certified disease-free seed potatoes in your garden.